What is up, Bugtube? It is Monty, and I am back again with our final vlog of Vlogmas. We did it. We have made it here. Now, did we upload every day? No. No, we did not. But you know what? I think for our first attempt, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. We had a really good run of, like, the past two weeks, I think. So, I'm going to take it where I can get it. I'll take it where I can get it. I'll take it where I can get it. So, today's book is Bloomsbury Girls. Now, again... How much of this am I actually going to get read? I don't know. My plan is probably to start making some breakfast and do a little bit of reading. If I do that, then I'll update you in the car before I leave. But if I don't do that and there's no car update, then you know that I did not, I did not read with my breakfast. So that'll be the gauge of that. Um, that's really all I got for you. It's been really fun and exciting. Tomorrow we're doing reading sprints. I still have to schedule them, but we are doing reading sprints tomorrow. They'll probably be in the afternoon so I can sleep in, but we're going to do reading sprints tomorrow. So that'll be a thing that we're doing over here on the channel. And then I'm going to go away for a couple of days. I'm going to give you all a break from my face. And then, like I said, in, I think it was yesterday's video, at some point I gave you guys the rundown. We're doing a vlog on New Year's Eve, a New Year's Day vlog. And then all of my end of year stuff. So best, worst, four stars you should read, ranking 2022 releases, and my yearly stats. Because I keep the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is mostly for me, but I feel like we could do that. I'll also um, do like a little collective haul because my goal was to buy one book a month. And I told you guys that I failed that, but we can still show off the like 15 or so books that I actually did buy. So that'll be in that year end stats video. Oh, and, and I guess that'll also count as like my goals check-in because that was my only goal. And I think that because I was pretty successful, I'm just going to continue to do what I did this year um, in terms of book buying where I just, you know, go to my library, I go to, uh, and, I, and I just buy books that I've already read. Um, so I don't think there'll be a hard uh, number on it going forward because I now know that I only purchase books that I am actively well, one that I've already read and two that I actively enjoyed enough to want to purchase. I don't know how that's going to translate into publisher requests because I am not an ERC girly, but I also don't like the, I mean, I did, y'all saw the little, um, this is the, the ARC shelf. And so I did unhaul a lot of ARCs, but there are a couple on here that I still haven't read, like the Jeffersonians and beyond that, the C elsewhere. I think this was sit unsolicited. So like I might actually get rid of this, but maybe I requested it and I just don't remember. Um, so there are some, oh, Harriet Evans's, uh, The Beloved Girls. So, like, there are some things on there that I still got to get through. Um, and this, obviously this, but this is, this is the goal to get through today. So we're just gonna, we're gonna play along. We're gonna see what we can do here. Also, like, I don't know what's happening with this. We're just gonna ignore whatever this is. Um, but I will check back in with you guys at some point in the future. And I will have thoughts and opinions when I check in in the future so hopefully if you are a christmas girly you know your christmas went well if you're not a christmas girly hopefully you what is it today sunday hopefully you're having a nice relaxing sunday i'm actually gonna go now i will check back in we will we will converse it'll be a good time it'll be a good time so see you in a little bit excuse i'm gonna try an editing to make sure that the hum of the cars that warms up is not too distracting but I am 42% into Bloomsbury Girls. I'm not reading this physically. I'm listening to the audio. So that's the thing that's happening. And conflicted. I'm conflicted. This book is boring as fuck, you guys. Like, but the thing is, I don't think it was ever supposed to be exciting, right? So we're set in 1950s London. We're at the Bloomsbury Bookshop. And we're following the people who work there. So we're following the general manager who just got the job because the other guy had like a stroke, not a stroke, he had a fucking seizure on the floor of the bookshop. So we're following the new general manager who isn't like replacing, replacing, but the guy's in the hospital, so we got him. But it's really about the women. So now we have the person who's in charge of like the sales floor, which is different than the general manager dude. And she is an aspiring author. But we're also following this new hire who we saw in the prologue, who was a graduate of Oxford, I want to say. Maybe it was Cambridge. She went to one of the two. And she deals with antique books. So we're like, okay, cool. The only thing that is like 
driving you forward in the story is that we come to find out that the new hire lady, she used to work at the Sotheby's auction house. And so when she was at the Sotheby's, she did some cataloging and we know that Bloomsbury, the, this little bookshop, the Bloomsbury girls, no, their, their, their boss, the antiquities dealer there, he bought four books. And one of the books that she cataloged while she was there, she miscatalogued it because her passion is like forgotten women authors, which I guess like I have to remember like this is set in 1950s because when I'm reading in like 1922 and it's like Elizabeth Gaskell is a forgotten author, I had to read Elizabeth Gaskell in school. So you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to remember 1950s, Monty, 1950s. And so, but anyway, she miscatalogued this author forget what her name is but she wrote like this mummy story and William Makepeace Thackeray was like this is the greatest work of fiction ever and so she took a job at this little bookshop even though she's low-key overqualified because she wants to get this book back because she thinks she miscatalogued it she did the wrong thing she's in the wrong here she's like I gotta do right I need to get this book and so not only does she like want to get the book but I feel like she's trying to like sell the book like, that's what it's trying to give me. It's trying to, like, she wants to reprint all of these books. It's weird. Um, it's also in her perspective that we get this really strange microaggressive moment between her and an Indian character in this book. And because I'm not reading this little art, I'm listening to the audiobook, I know it's in the final copy. So that was very strange. It made me feel a little uncomfortable. I was just like, really? <laughs> like... I get it, like, again, I understand we're in the 1950s, you can't Google anything, but I was just like, damn, girl, like, how you in the, the motherland of the colonizer, and you don't know nothing about where you colonize. Anyway, so, like I said, the book is really boring, because there's not a whole lot of stuff happening, there's not a whole lot to be attached to, and even homegirl trying to find this book is boring, because, like, she's really not being successful. At, uh, what is it, like, 140-ish pages so far? Yeah, at least 140 pages into this she ain't had nowhere to go the other perspective is really just trying to like be respected on the sales floor we also got a hint that she and the new general manager like i guess they used to have a fling um love that for them they've also been working at the bookstore the same amount of time like he was hired like two seconds before she was hired so there's like history there it's just it's not juicy it's not particularly enthralling and it feels a little weird to read in 2022 reading about 1950s people talking about authors that I would I would argue are well known. Al Romo. At least other people that she has, you know, brought up, you know, the Brontes, all three of the Brontes. I feel like people talk about all three of the Brontes. People talk about uh, Elizabeth Gaskell. I don't fuck with Elizabeth Gaskell. North and South was one of the worst books I read in school, but people love it. Um, so it's just like, you're not even like bringing in new names, you know? Like... <laughs> You're not. You're just not. So sorry. I don't know if I'm going to finish this today, but I'm not bringing this into the new year. I do know that. So we will be, I will be finishing this at some point if it's not today. But I'm going to go. I'll check back in. Like I said, stay safe out there. Hello. Um, I think in an earlier clip, unless I edited it out, I said that we would um do some skincare but i decided to do that by myself so here i am to wrap up today's vlog because i am at 73 percent of bloomsbury girls and i'm still listening to the audio and i'm too lazy to get up and go grab this book but it's the only book i've talked about this video so i feel like y'all remember the cover natalie jenner is the author and it is just not hitting like is not homegirl search for this book is still going nowhere at 73 percent now there's talk of like the women of the store like purchasing a store of their own it's just nothing is happening at all and i don't understand how this got published um and i can only blame myself i can only blame myself because i thought that i would enjoy this and i don't know why i don't know why I think I saw like a group of women like being friends, but these women don't really feel like friends. They have very little interactions with one another. It feels like each of the women has interactions with other people. And I want to say it's like Grace. I don't know. Don't hold me to this. But like one of the women has like friends. No, I know it's Evie who has connections to like the little society person. And the society person is like 
kind of the person who's like pushing for them to like get their own store, but she's not really doing this to Evie. If it, it's just weird, like it's bad. It's bad. It's boring. There's nothing going on here. There was like, a, like I said, there's the valuable book plot line. There's the women being disrespected in the workplace plot line. There's the um. There's a we used to bone each other in 1950s London's plot line and none of it's doing anything or going anywhere or saying anything and the writing is very mediocre and it's very bland and uninspired and it's just like it's giving paint by numbers you know it's 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 like if you saw like a pretty picture and you were like okay that's cute but then you would never be like oh yeah I want to put it in my house you know like you're scrolling through Instagram you're like oh this is like a nice a nice little a photo that somebody snapped but you don't double tap it you know like it's is I'm seeing this thing happen, but this like none of this needed to happen, and it's not none of this needed to happen in a all these characters are making really stupid choices kind of a way where at least the none of this needed to happen could be interesting. Um, it's just like this didn't need to happen because this book didn't need to be published, and it's it didn't need to be published not because it's like horrendously bad. It's just so boring and bland, and it's like of all of the books that you know authors are out here trying to get published and of all the books that you are going to print physical arcs for and like send out into the world trying to get publicity for this is the one you did like and again I can only blame myself because when they sent the little newsletter I was like yeah I want to read it I should have listened to past Monty past Monty didn't touch that book past Monty said it's gonna sit right here on this shelf <laughs> and not get read but you know current Monty current Monty said oh you're being such a bad reviewer you're not doing what you need no should have been a bad reviewer because it, it is bad but that's what I got I'm probably gonna finish it tomorrow when we do our I say we it's just gonna be me when I do some reading sprints I think that stream is scheduled so I'll leave it linked in the cards but it is it's about to be nine o'clock so I want to wrap this up so I can edit it and get it out and have time to enjoy my evening. I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow's sprints, but I'm also very much looking forward to like the three days where I'm probably just gonna lay in my living room and watch Gossip Girl because I still have not watched that episode. <laughs> I haven't seen the new episode yet, so I have that to look forward to. And uh, yeah, so that's what I got. I will see you guys again tomorrow for some sprints, but this has been a really fun experience. It's been a learning experience and uh, I'll see you guys again soon. But until then, and until next time, bye.